Hey guys, it's Tom Box here with Jay Kwan, Jason Kwan, and uh, he finished top eight. Top eight, oh yeah. So what did you play today? I played True King Dinos, and I think that the, the deck is pretty good as a rogue, but when it comes to the actual zoo matchup, I think it it's, has a pretty hard time uh, getting over uh, the grind game. How many zoo players did you play against? Quite a lot. I believe it was like four zoos. Okay. Well, that's actually the majority of the tournament. Yeah, yeah. Four zoos, I believe. Yeah. So what's so special about your deck? I have a bunch of random techs I did put in there. Um, and I think that it actually does make it way more consistent than a lot of standard builds. So I've noticed in your extra deck, which we will get into in a bit in the deck profile, you have Zolkin oh, yeah. versus VFD. Which one do you prefer? I definitely say Zoken because Zoken is definitely the MVP of the deck. Um, because if if I have a really big board, um, I can use I can use uh, Denglong to synchro, make the Zoken, and then get out uh, Suwani with the Denglong, uh, and then afterwards set and actually set set the nine pillars and actually get out uh, Crystal Wing or even Beals if you're playing the True Draco. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. What was the most memorable play today? I'd say when I had a board of Crystal Wing, Zokin, uh, Legia, wow, that's a lot of new and Danglong and or sorry, Suwani and nine players. Wow, that's with a set in pure order. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that means our opponent is dead. Dead. All right. <laughs> so okay, we're gonna be going into his deck profile to see how well he, he did. So this is a very nice top eight mat. Congratulations. All right. So let's see your main deck. So the main deck, I played 40 cards, and I played uh, 3 Over Raptor, which is standard, the best card in the deck, I'd say. And the second best one is Miscellaneous Source. Hand Trap. Hand Trap. This came in like super, super clutch, especially when uh, you're going, uh, I'd say, turn 2, and you're playing against a zoo, and you have, say, for example, Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, and they would try to pop it, and you can just chain it to this. Oh, this is baitable. Baitable, very baitable. Uh, standard 3 babies. And then three uh, Patina Ranadaws. Uh, I think this is a good ratio at three, uh, even though a lot of people do play two. But I think it's a very easy side out. Um, and the next card, the boss monster of the deck, uh, Ultimate Conductor. You I needed think, to play a two? Yeah, I think two is a really good ratio as well, because you can always side one out if you really need to. And the one really bad Garnet that everyone hates to draw, which I actually drew uh, in one of my True Draco match twice. So, but it, but I still popped it off with a uh, with the Earth True King, so I guess it wasn't that dead. Okay. Yeah. And next up is the True King lineup. So three best Earth one. True King, the very best one. Definitely uh, kills a Zoo extra deck. That's for sure. Um, one Water True King. Oh, this is now interesting. Now I know in the future. Well, you're running one Water one, and I did mm -hmm. not see any of the Megalo Mashers. Yeah. So the one Water one, I thought it was going to be pretty dead to uh, top deck, which is true. Uh, but then when you open it, and you also will search it a lot as well, it, it's very, very good against Diagram, and, or even popping with any other True King for that matter as well. So it's actually very, very good. And uh, another reason is it just makes VFD so much easier, or even Zoken for that matter. Um, and then a fire true king, of course. Uh, and then next up is the hand traps. So three ghost ogre and one maxi. You know, you make a lot of budget players happy, <laughs> seeing that you don't run any ash. Yeah, so I, I decided not to play any ash at all in the main deck and side deck. Um, but I guess in the future, I might actually take it out for one of the side deck cards, though. Uh, and then the last two monsters is Dogran, which I think is a must because if you're playing the Zoo True Draco, you have to have a way to out that masterpiece, or it's super duper hard to actually uh, get into uh, and, and get into game. And then uh, Suwani, uh, and then that wraps it up for the monsters. Okay. So for the spells, I played. Three diagrams, of course. Oh, budget players are now not happy. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, it's, at least there's no hashes in there. Oh yeah, best field spell by far. And a lot of times that I would even uh, use this to pop just like anything. Did you pop it's diagram, so good. pop diagram? Sometimes. I actually did diagram, diagram once. Um, and that it was actually like subpar, but it's still better than nothing. Three of the rotas, of course. 
and two terraforming. I know two terraforming is quite different from a lot of standard builds because they like to pay three and three because they just want to have six diagrams. But I think that two terraforming is the right ratio. And the reason for that is because if you draw multiple diagrams and multiple terraformings, you automatically lose because you can't do anything. And once you resolve diagram like once or twice, you don't really need it anymore. And then another cool attack is main deck dark hole. But it's not that cool of a tag. Dinosaur well, players and set and it is. It up. But the thing is, like in standard builds, it is quite different in terms where you know this does help a lot, especially if I notice that dinosaurs they they need more combo extenders, or even for that matter, if you actually brick um, first turn, you can just set a baby, uh, and then after his dark hole, your own monster, and then just go off from there if you really have to. So it's not even too bad. And even going second is like really, really good, especially against a zoo matchup. Oh yeah. Yeah, because then even even if you uh, set the baby and they have dried on board, they can't do anything. And then uh, the one tech soul charge. Okay, this 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 must be very nutty when you resolve this. It's 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 very nutty like late game. Um, I know I, I noticed that the True King Dino does have a very very hard grind game. Once you use up all your resources and banish everything, it's very hard to come back. So a lot of times uh, Soul Charge does come in clutch because you can actually uh, get out back your True Kings, get out even Ultimate Conductor for that matter, and actually use it on your opponent's turn. So it doesn't even matter if you can attack or not. Uh, but I didn't even see it that much. But it is it, it is a good card in, in theory though. And then uh, that wraps up for spells. And then for the trap line, I played only three traps and I played Pure Order, which I think is a very, very good staple. It's such a blow card. It's better than Vanity's Emptiness, and it just wins you a lot of games, especially if you have a really full board. Um, and then the Nine Pillars, which is uh, needed for the Suwani and uh, Denglong play. But it's an easy side out as well, which is why I play it. And then lastly, uh, Torrential Tribute, which I think is also very good. Um, because if you brick once again, you can just set a baby and uh, set the TT. Immediate comeback. An immediate comeback. It's very good too. So like late game, yeah. So that wraps it up for the main deck. See the extra. All right. So the extra. I play the standard Legia. Just one. Yep, one Legia. Um, I honestly don't even think uh, you really need the second one. Uh, and then Doka, of course. And I played the one Dweller. Uh, it's usually for a mirror match, but never came up. And then Castell. Uh, I. Honestly, took out the second Lagia for Castell because I felt like Castell is better in, in terms where it can deal with established boards. Whether uh, instead of uh, Lagia having not being able to actually do anything to established boards, so I think it's pretty decent when the time comes up. And then uh, Tornado Dragon, uh, and then your Utopia package. It's a good package. It is a good package. And then uh, VFD. Just one. Just the one VFD. Like I said, I don't really think that you really need two. Honestly, the whole entire uh, tournament, I, I never really went into it that much. Uh, if, if, if I usually go into VF Day, it'd be against the Zoo matchup. Um, so that rests up for the Exceeds, and for Synchros, I play the standard Denglong. Uh, and then with that, the Zoken. Okay, Zoken. What do you summon with Zoken? So Zoken is and honestly... How do you get him out? So you would, you would um, summon Denglong, and while having a True King on board, which is also another reason why the Water True King is so important as well. Uh, and then you use Denglong's effect uh, to just uh, ditch uh, True King to copy its level and then uh, synchro with it. And it's really good because then you're going to have uh, Zoken and then a Suwani and then a Nine Pillars, which is a solid judgment. Um, but yeah, Zoken is very, very MVP. It's better than uh, VFD. I'm, I used it way more. And then uh, to wrap it up with the Zoken package, I played one Ancient Fairy, which I think is very decent when it comes to the mirror match, even uh, against uh, Zoo, Zoo True Draco or even Pure True Draco for that matter, because it can just um, pop their own diagram and you get a diagram as well. Uh, and then late game, if you really need to, you can uh, use that secondary effect as well. And then uh, the Bews, which is actually a really, really hard uh, card to get over uh, against the true Draco because the only really out they would have is Stormforth and if they use Desires and they banish the Stormforth it's really really hard because this thing can't even be killed even if Masterpiece, uh, Masterpiece gets uh, the gain from Diagram you can attack it and actually gain that amount which is kind of funny um, and then the Crystal Wing of course Crystal Wing is really really good especially when you're ending a board with Lagia, Crystal Wing, um, Suwani and uh, Zoken and then uh, Nine Pillars of course and then I played the standard Trish and then the Leo to wrap it off. 
Leo is just a run over masterpiece. Yeah, Leo's a run over masterpiece just because they can't pop it, and it's it's actually I, I noticed that a lot of times when they do uh, stop your play uh, with maybe a cherry gold silver or anything like that, then you can just banish a miscellaneous and actually synchro with it. So it actually comes up here and there, which I think is really good, and it's especially hard to get over as well. Yeah. So that wraps it up for the extra deck, and then uh, now for the side deck. Yeah, show us quickly. Show us your side deck. So the side deck is going to be uh, two flying sea zoos, uh, two uh, drone lock. Hey, why I are you also, this? It was for the mirror, and it's also for uh, the zoo uh, Draco, which was like mediocre. I never honestly sighted it in once. I never even saw it, and uh, I'd, I'd honestly take these out for cherries. And then the Dogran, which I think is really uh, useful against the true Draco, and then two twin twister and one regeki. I decided to play Twin Twister instead of Cyclone because I think it just comes up more, especially in back row heavy decks, just in case. Uh, two Anti Spell, which I actually only used once against an Odd Eyes Magician deck. And aside from that, it's very, very not that relevant. And uh, Master Strike. Honestly, Master Strike isn't that even good in the side deck. I, 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 I would cut it. I would honestly cut it for something else. I, I might cut this for Magic Deflectors, which I think would be so much better. Um, and then two Barriers for the zoo, chorus, and pendulum. And then the one tech mirror force. Clutch mirror force? Very, very clutch. Um, this, this came in really handy, and it especially uh, gets you back in the game, because like I said, with this with this deck, it's very, very uh, hard to come back if you're in the grind mode. And if you have mirror force and miscellaneous with three other dinosaurs, it can get you back in the game pretty easily, especially if uh, the zoo uh, player actually extends, because they just, didn't, they just won't even uh, expect a mirror force. Okay. And uh, any shoutouts you want to give to people? Um, yeah, I just want to make a shoutout to Ken Box for uh, helping me find the third diagram. And then, That's uh, Nishi. Ken Nishi. And then uh, definitely a shoutout to Russo, who actually uh, um, lended me one of his Mirror Forces. But mirror Force is super clutch? Super clutch, super clutch, as a one of. All right. I guess that's it for this Chuking Dino Deck profile. Until next time, don't forget to hold on to your MST.TV, and we're going to the end phase. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please drop us a like so we know we are doing a good job. And you can also subscribe to MSD.TV for more fantastic videos by clicking on the button on the left. Don't forget to check out our partners at Imperium Duelist. They make really high quality mats, including some of my own limited edition release stuff. And if you want to check out one of our past videos, click here on the right. As always, don't forget to hold on to your MSD.TV and I'll see you next time.